Welcome to Woman in Power Conversation with the President. My name is June Bielan. I am the founder, president, and CEO of the Women's Chamber of Commerce of Nevada. Each week we will have conversations with our members, corporate partners, community leaders, and board members, committee directors, and entrepreneurs of tomorrow. Our guest today is Summer Webb, Director of Business Development for American Estate and Trust. Uh, let me introduce you to her, because you have a long title, so you can tell everybody what you do. Well, thank you for having me, June. <laughs> yes, I'm the Director of Business Development for American Estate and Trust, and a self-directed IRA custodian. <laughs> wow. Do you have to say that every time you talk to somebody? I, I do for them to understand my title, but a lot of times I just say, oh, I do 401ks and IRAs, and they kind of get the gist okay, of it. Okay, <laughs> there you go. There you go. You get yeah, that. Yeah. And, and you serve on uh, two of our boards. Three. Three. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I know of two. Yeah. So the Legacy Foundation. Oh, that's the executive right. Executive board and the young professional. That's right. Yes. <laughs> she's a newbie, but she. There you go. Yeah. Um, and why don't you tell us what you do? Because your title enough says enough. Right. Why don't you tell us what you physically do with your job? Okay, so uh, basically I work for a self-directed IRA custodian. Mm -hmm. So I know you've probably heard of IRAs and 401ks uh, that let you invest um, typically in non uh, in like mutual funds, stocks, bonds, and CDs. Like a, your employer might have a 401k that allows you to do that. Well, American Estate and Trust is a self-directed IRA custodian which allows you to invest in non-traditional assets. So you can actually use your IRA or 401k to buy real estate, metals, uh, invest in deeds of trust, invest in private placements, even right now, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin you can do. So, um, crypto, go back to yes. explain. <laughs> so, while other, each custodian is allowed to hold certain types of assets. So most custodians can hold those tradition, those normal standard non-risky assets. But um, I, American Estate and Trust is unique in the fact that we are capable of holding uh, those non-traditional assets such as cryptocurrencies. So you can actually use your 401k or IRA to invest in Bitcoin and, and keep it tax deferred until you liquidate it and, and distribute it to yourself personally. Wow. I'd have to I'd have to read a book and catch up on that what, what, you, what you actually do now what is yes. your background how did you get to this this part um, this job what did you do before well uh, I started actually in collections and then I moved into real estate so um, I actually I wasn't a realtor but I did loans and I worked for escrow companies for about 10 years um, and then when I moved to Las Vegas I was introduced to this world of IRAs and 401ks because you can buy real estate with it so that's kind of how I ended up there and um, and I realized a lot of people aren't educated to know what they can do with their IRA. They're just kind of told what to do with it. So once I found out what you could do with it, I was just so floored that I wanted to know more. And so then I started learning it and educating myself. And then I moved it up in the ranks of my company from um, being account management to now the director of business development. How come you don't hear as much of it? I don't see anybody going out and talking about IRAs anymore. Right. And so where does that stand right now? So that's why I'm here actually, and that's right. why I'm out trying to um, educate the public on what you can do with your IRA. A lot of people uh, don't know that. They just, their employer gives them an IRA or does some employee, employer match contributions, and they leave it in a mutual fund. But they don't know that you can actually take your IRA and do invest in things that you know. If you know real estate and you're already investing in real estate, why not tap into some of those funds to, to enable yourself to invest uh, more, you know, so mm -hmm. once people find out that they can do it or they're, they want to get into Bitcoin and they have money in their IRA, so you can tap into those funds to use that to invest. So where do you get your clients from? 
Uh, well, I'm in charge of business to business relationships. So I actually um, go to, even though I do handle individual clients mm -hmm. um, that uh, find us off of our website or web um, or, you know, uh, Google searching us um, or referrals. I also, I handle business to business relationships with our companies, companies who uh, financial advisors, um, companies like um, third party administrators that need to utilize our platform in order to hold the non-traditional assets. So um, I reach out, I, I dial for dollars and, <laughs> <laughs> and I Google companies that might need us and then um, well, I- Well, I know you go to some them. of the events that we I have, do. but uh, what other type of events do you go to for that type of clientele? So I do go speaking and educating um, right. on the self-directed IRA and how it works. And, and that is actually my passion. I love to go and teach people how to do this. Right. Um, and, and it's not even just to acquire clients, it's just, whether you come to me or not, it's just to tell you that this is out there, right. this is what you can do with your IRA and 401k. So I go and speak at um, you know Rotary Clubs and some sort of, some in Las Vegas, we're privy to having a lot of conventions come in town. Right. So sometimes they uh, want me there and um, also do some webinars and things like that. Oh, so you gotta you gotta do one of our workshops. I would love to. Yeah. I would now love you have to. to get a hold of Brenda Gale and set that up. Okay, I yeah. will do that. Thank See, you there for you go. that. Thank you. Yeah. Now, what other type of uh, community projects do you get involved with? What are you involved with here on a local level now that you're here? Well, now that I'm here, I am involved in the Women's Chamber, right. which is um, new for me, which I love. I, I absolutely thank you for that opportunity to be able to work with you and the other ladies um, on making changes here. Um, youth sports is really um, my passion as well. So women and the children is what I'm into. Um, and I'm from Los Angeles, and so I've been here about three years. Bef prior to moving here, I was very deep into uh, youth sports there, and I just started diving into it here. So sponsoring kids to play, uh, showing up every day, picking up kids, um, you know, um, some kids who can't afford to do that, uh, right. to play, you know, buying equipment and things like that for them. So what is this about a team mom yes. and manager what's <laughs> yes. that so and that and so i do all the invisible work really <laughs> for the team so going to get the gatorades the waters offensive coordinator oh. putting <laughs> all the, <laughs> putting all the plays in the little um you know in the handbooks for the kids and things like that making sure um that all the administration is done so my husband usually coaches so um i i'm his backup now you were telling us at our meeting uh mm -hmm. yesterday that because you have a uh, what, what is what type of sports are you into that you you mentioned to us that you were going to get see about a team? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that was? The uh, young professionals. No, let me see. Volunteer schools, PTA, church groups. But you have a certain sports. Is it? Is Football? that? No. no. My sport. The sport that you like. Yeah, I love football. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So my little brother. But plays I thought it was. Boxing, and you mentioned something in oh, our list. Oh, boxing. Yeah, see? Yeah, well, that, we, that, had a meet, we had a meeting, so, you know, <laughs> yesterday, so. Well, I, I mean, I just have some friends and family that are professional box, so I was going to uh, have them assist us with some of our raffle and, and things that we need um, for the Women's Chamber. So I'm going to reach out to them today, actually, so that we can see if we can get that done. So, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I should say who. <laughs> I, should, I don't know if I should say who it all is until they commit, but. Oh yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. I would, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> Not till they commit. Right, exactly. <laughs> then, then you can say that. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, so I wanted to, is there anything else you would like to touch on that, you know, you want to do more in the community? And, because I know you're getting really involved with the Athena Awards with us. Yes. And it's gonna be the sports extravaganza. So yes. um, you and Bernice are taking on the, they're taking on all the teams. They're yes, trying to get all the teams, yes. I should say. Yes, we are. But you said they're not, a lot of them are not here doing. Oh, so for the, like the Las Vegas 51. Right. So who are changing their name right now. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but they are revamping themselves and they don't live here in the off season. Right. So they're not able to attend the um, uh, Athena Awards, although they are happy to give us some stuff for our, um, you know, for our cause. So are you, go there's a long list. Are you going to be able to get a hold of anybody? Uh, are they all not here or is? Yeah, they don't, they don't typically live here in the off season. Okay. The players don't, they live somewhere else and then they just come here for the season. But so, all, the, all the sports teams can't be all off. No, not, that's just the 50 ones. So <laughs> okay. the other teams, like the Knights and the other teams, they probably do live here. So I'm going to touch bases with oh, those two. Okay. The professional teams probably live here. Right. But the 50 ones is more of a, a minor league, and that's why they don't normally live here. 
I'm learning more about sports because of you guys now, <laughs> as you? of yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know all that until we, I have a list, but I give it to you and <laughs> yes. you take, take and run with it. <laughs> right. But you've been in a lot of, uh, you had like, of uh, what four major industries that you were in? Yeah, Ex yeah. Explain that. Right. So I started in, in collections. Um, I don't know if I should say the company, but you know I worked for Sears Roebuck, which was a, a a big company for me to start with because they had um, a training that was. I th I still use it even now when I do my clothing. You know, so it was. Um, a real benefit to me to work there. And then um, I actually started making um, commissions out of the training room. I was the first person ever to do that. Oh. Because I, <laughs> I, you know, uh, so, uh, so I worked in um, collections and then real estate and then client services. And so um, in real estate, I did loans and escrow and then client services um, as well in, in the real estate field. So then I started doing this, which is self-directed IRAs. Wow. And which is new to, well, I've been doing it for about almost four years now. Well, congratulations to you. We're well, we're lucky you. and fortunate to have you on our board and stuff. So I'm really thankful for that. Well, thank and you. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? And well, you know, I do appreciate the opportunity and the platform to mm -hmm. be able to educate people on self-directed IRAs and what they do. So I'm excited to to um, to get that out there. And then, you know, just um, having my family be a part of this community is so important to us. You know, I'm a mother and a wife, and, and it's hard to juggle all of that, but I, I always believe that no, nothing should take from the other. So being a wife shouldn't take from a mo being a mother, being a mother shouldn't take from my career. So uh, I, I, I wish I could clone myself so I could be in all places. <laughs> <laughs> but as of now, there's just one of me, and I think I'm doing a great job at, at juggling all yes, of it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are for being young. And in, in today's society, too, because, I mean, I did that for years but with my kids and everything else too plus yes. a sick child yeah yes. so it's very difficult and yeah if you have a sick child um, you better be working for yourself because you'll be unemployed because they don't you know they didn't do that in our days right and that's what you and I discussed yesterday yes. and and with my company you know I can I can grow as much as I can I'm pretty mm -hmm. much self-sufficient and so I do love that about it where I yeah. can be a mother and a wife as well as uh, have them maintain my career Right. So that's so important. Well, we're so glad to have you. Oh, well, thank you, thank so you for much. being on board with us as well, too. And thank you for helping with the Athena Awards, too, because it's very important. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, June. You're very welcome. <laughs> this is June Beelan. I will see you next time.